hello guys welcome back to my channel so here I have an original vintage Zippo lighter guarantee leaflet which I believe uh, dates back before 1962 correct me if I'm wrong but I do believe so because inside this leaflet has evidence that it may have been included in the Zippo lighter boxes which had the candy stripes design so without further ado let's take a closer look at its content looking at the front page of this leaflet it first catches your attention using the word please and follows by the famous Zippo lifetime guarantee which states that our guarantee is unusual this lighter or any Zippo when returned to our factory will be put in first class mechanical condition free of charge for we have yet to charge a cent for the repair of a Zippo regardless of age or condition the finish however is not guaranteed well I'm pretty sure that this guarantee statement remains pretty much the same to this day having a look at the first two pages of this leaflet back during those days Zippo offered customization services allowing people to have names or initials engraved and painted with chosen colors onto their lighters each customization job would cost one dollar for a fee of one dollar and twenty five cents there were additional options to have a chosen emblem or insignia mounted onto the lighter this is the mailing form in which customers would have to include within their mails when they send their lighters back to Zippo company in Bradford Pennsylvania for the customization jobs within their mails they would have to include the necessary payments fill up the customization order and provide a return address for Zippo company to return their lighters after the customization jobs were done here we are looking at the other side of this leaflet at its first page it advertises the use of Zippo flints and Zippo lighter fluid Early in this video, I stated my belief that this leaflet came before the year of 1962. So this is the reason why. This um, lighter fluid can, as illustrated, still carried the older design of the candy stripe, which had to be the same period when the candy stripe boxes were being made as I would like to request you to remember this diagram part A refers to the lighter casing part B being the lighter insert and part C which is the flint spring within the same page it contains instructions about the care of the Zippo wick here is something interesting that I found within the first sentence that states under conditions of normal use the Zippo wick lasts a lifetime wow what an incredible statement here should it become coated with carbon of flint dust Place cotton on the end of a matchstick saturated with Zippo fuel. Scrub the wick 
then straighten to chimney height. Well, this uh, statement is understood as saying that um, those uh, older Zippo wicks made during the time, they were able to be reused over and over and over again just by cleaning it with a stick. In an emergency, change the wick by using tweezers to remove all the packings from insert. Uh, insert wick downwards through the chimney pulling with tweezers and replace the packings by interweaving the wick between those pieces of uh, cotton or rayon. And this is the only statement to tell you to trim the wick to chimney height right after the wick has been replaced. Nowadays, Zippo seem to be advocating the periodic trimming of lighter wicks, especially after they have turned black. But we must know that during the past, Zippo used to produce their lighter wicks containing a material known as asbestos within its core. Asbestos has the property of being fire resistant, thus explaining how those products could last for life. Here is a modern Zippo wick, which I do not believe that it contains asbestos anymore. Moving back a page, here are the instructions to refuel and reflint a Zippo. I'm not sure what this means, but here it states, remove fuel chamber from case by holding part A being the lighter casing in left hand, pulling out part B, which is the insert. Saturate packing with Zippo fuel, shake out any surplus, uh, well, not known about that, and insert chamber in case, wipe off case before lighting. Next is about flinting the Zippo lighter. Unscrew part C, which is the flint spring screw at end of fuel chamber, that means the bottom of the insert. Remove screw and attach spring, place flint in tube and replace spring screw tightly. Be sure screw is turned as far as it will go, otherwise the lighter slit will not close completely. If wheel binds after new flint is inserted, which means that if the flint is stuck, turn the flint wheel backwards a few times and keep extra flint supply under felt pad at the bottom of the fuel chamber. Well, I guess um, most Zippo users are familiar with the instructions stated in this page. It hasn't changed much. So finally, we are now at the last page of this leaflet. At its final words, it says that Zippo is world famous as the lighter that always lights with a zip even in wind or rain. Well, I'm having a bit of doubt about this because neither have I tried lighting a Zippo in the rain nor have I seen anybody done that. When using your Zippo indoors, open lid and raise lighter upward before striking the flint wheel, like this. This movement eliminates gas lock which may prevent your Zippo from lighting on the first zip. Well, I have heard about people um, saying that their Zippo lighters would not spark, no, would not light up even though it had been fueled and even though the flints would spark. So, there you have it guys. Perhaps this might just be 
the vintage Zippo's solution to that problem. If you are a pipe or cigar smoker, pull the wick a little past chimney height for a larger flame. Well, this is quite intriguing as it was long before the pipe lighter insert had been produced. Alright guys, I really do hope you enjoyed watching this video and have learned something from it. I'm pretty sure that we have so much to discuss about. So please do leave your comments in the comment section below to continue the discussions. Do give my video a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel as there will be upcoming videos of unique Zippo lighters and vintage stuffs from my collection. Before I end this video, I'd like to show you something that I've acquired yesterday. This is a newly released Zippo Butane Lighter Insert Single Torch. It is windproof as I've tested. Works beautifully even though it adds a little bit more weight than the traditional lighter fluid inserts. Alright guys, as always, have a great day and thanks for watching.